Hey out there, thanks for tuning in. I'm waiting for Stella to call me. The granite countertops are going in over at the country house. It's exciting. That house is coming along. I may hit the 30-day mark. If not, maybe a day or two after that. If you remember from a previous video, I have a 30-day goal for that house. And also, don't, don't pay attention to this. This is about income, and it's very interesting to me, so I'm going to make a video about it. The top 1% of all households in the U.S. make $531,000 a year or more. That's a nice amount of money. However, I want to talk about something else. I ran into a friend of mine today over at my home away from home, Home Depot. We were talking. He's a contractor. He was telling me about some issues he has with some homeowners. I've heard issues on both sides, from homeowners and from contractors. For me, I have my contractor's license, but I don't work for anybody. It's just not my cup of tea. I don't think I have the personality for it. For those of you that are making money in the contracting business, my hats are off to you. It's just, I don't know, it's just, I don't, I, I don't like it. And then on the opposite side of the coin, I've heard homeowners complaining about contractors. So anyway, I'm not here to debate that whole thing. I'm just here to say, I was talking to a friend of mine, he's a contractor, and he sounds like he has some stress and anxiety. And he's also shown an interest in getting into flipping houses. So. Later in the conversation, he told me that he has access to, or has, $60,000. I told him $60,000 is more than enough to get started in this business, using a hard money lender, previous video. So today I want to go over how to turn $60,000 into $1 million. I'm going to use numbers that are real, right off of the chart from the country house for the first project. Buy a house for $200,000. Now, the assumption is it's going to need a rehab. Out of a $200,000 purchase price, you're going to need to come up with $40,000 for a hard money loan. You got $60,000, so $40,000 is no sweat. $40,000 down payment, and you're going to probably have to pay somewhere between six dollars and $10,000 worth of closing costs to get in. So you still have another $10,000 cushion there, so you're not freaking out that you have no money left. You're gonna to put together a $40,000 rehab on this house. I'm using round numbers and I'm going kind of fast because we're gonna get somewhere with this. The $40,000 rehab though, from previous videos, is cushioned, which means you're going through the house, you're gonna come up with maybe $27,000, $28,000, you're all in for the rehab on this house. So you have $12,000, $13,000 cushion in there. In case a surprise comes up, or if you wanna do one of my favorite things, is take that money, and put it in your pocket. So anyway, you got $40,000 rehab, you purchased a house for $200,000, the ARV, what's the ARV? After repair value, $340,000. Gives you a nice even number, a $100,000 profit. Now you get a $100,000 profit, but like you see over here, you're gonna get your down payment money back too, and the profit. So now you got $140,000 in cash. $140,000 in cash to do either Two projects or one project. Either way you go, I'll use round numbers here. $400,000 purchase price. Let's just say it's a, a single project. You're, you're scaling up. You're going to buy a house for $400,000. You're going to have to come up with $80,000 down payment, which is no big deal because you got over $140,000 now. $80,000 down payment, same amount of closing costs and everything, probably be around $10,000. Let's say you put together a $90,000 rehab, and again... I can't emphasize this enough, cushion that baby. Which means, if your rehab's really around 70, put down 90. Have a $20,000 cushion in there to do, what do I like to do with that money? Put it in my pocket. Or, if you have some kind of a surprise come up, use it for carrying costs. Put it in your pocket and take it back out later if you want to sell the property and, and pay a commission on it. You're going to have a $680,000 ARV after repair value. It's going to give you a $190,000 profit. When you scale up, you see the profit goes up. However, it's also a little bit more stressful and it's a little bit, uh, the market is a little bit uh, tighter up there. So if you're going to sell the property, it may sit for a little while. So you can, like I said, you can maybe do two projects, two of the same projects you did previously. You're going to get your $80,000 back that you put in for down payment, and now you're going to have a $190,000 profit, your 60000 
has now turned into 270,000. How long do you think how long do you think it would take you to do two houses? Is a year realistic? I think it would be less than a year, but let's just say a year. If you turned your 60,000 into 270,000, that indicates if you're not growing exponentially and you just stay on the same track, then in less than 4 years, you'll have a million dollars from the initial 60,000. That's pretty exciting. It's not instant gratification. I'm talking about four years of hard work, finding great deals, all that, but it can happen and it will happen if you get focused, laser focused. However, I'm also a realist. If you're like me, I like spending some money as I go along. So this $270,000, it really wouldn't be $270,000 for me. I'd like to go away. Uh, I'd like to spend some money. I'd like to, to live a little bit. I know that there's people out there that want to take all their profits, sock it away, and put it into another project. My hats are off to you if that's the case. For me, that's not the case. The other thing I like to do is I like to hold properties. So right now we're talking about selling and moving on to the next project. If you do this, I don't want to get too complicated. I don't want to bog you down with all the details. But you would need to do like a 1031 exchange. So this way you're not getting zapped for taxes. All of these things could be ironed out. The, the biggest thing is to get out there, find the deal. And all those other things can be ironed out. These are real numbers. $270,000 in one year can easily be $1 million in four years. Or do you want to do this? Do you want to build a legacy? And that's going to be my next video. What is a legacy? An amount of money or property left to someone in a will. I came across this the other day, and it's another reason why I like to hold properties instead of just flipping them and selling them. However, I don't want to, I don't want to get off course. So to my friend out there, this is how you turn 60000 into $1 million in four years or less.